Hi, I'm Donna Vio. I'm at the Masquerade and I have an antique playground. These are a bunch of machines from the late 1800s to up to 1937. I'm going to show you what each of these machines look like. I'll be offering classes here at the Masquerade in Salem and around at quilt shops and I'm hoping you come and play on my antique machines with me. So I'm going to show you how to make things in a class but right now I'm just going to show you a little bit about the machine so you know what you're in for. You could come make a pincushion scrap bag. Everyone knows what they are. It's great to have next to your machine. Or you could do a jelly roll race and learn how to make it into a beach bag or whatever kind of bag you want. It's backed with canvas. It's great for the ground outside. So let's get started right away. This first machine is actually set up to be on a treadle base. I don't want to put it on a treadle base. I want you to be able to use it without the treadle base. It's a fiddle base machine. It's got curved, a curved bottom. and it's beautiful. And uh, I'm looking for a, a base and box for it with a hand crank. This one is from 1887. It is a vibrating shuttle machine. It has a shuttle inside that goes back and forth when you're stitching. And that's what holds the bobbin. I'm just going to crank it with my finger like this. And you can see that when you hand crank it, how quiet it is. <laughs> it's a quiet machine. I have another one I'm going to show you that's exactly like this. It has a newer bobbin. It's actually on the treadle base. And I'm going to show you what it's like to operate a treadle machine. Here it is. This is my other VS2. This one's from 1889. It's a Singer VS2. It's also a fiddle base machine with the rounded edge. And it's got a bobbin winder on it that gets used by pushing it against the belt of the machine. And I'm going to show you what it looks and sounds like when it's being operated. Put your feet on the pedal down here. A lot of times they put one foot on the pedal and one toe and you pull the hand wheel towards yourself to get yourself going and then your feet can be in the right rhythm and it's pretty quiet pretty smooth and it makes a sweet stitch this is also a vibrating shuttle machine and it opens up like the one I just showed you and the shuttle goes back and forth and that shuttle in there holds our bobbin you can get it going pretty fast. Depends on how fast you want to pump it. This one will not be traveling with me to the quilt shops, but it will stay here at the Masquerade, and if you take a class here, you can sit down and play on it. So the next machine is a Wilcox and Gibbs from 1894. It comes in this great little case, and I just slide it out of the case. This is a chain stitch machine. It doesn't have a bobbin. It only uses the top thread. It's a sweet little machine. It has a little pitting on it, but it works just fine. This is a European hand crank model, which means it has a bigger hand crank. The American version put their hand crank right here directly on the drive for a small crank. I like the big one. Get more uh, distance out of your sewing. Virtually silent. That is a sweet machine. And the next one's a Singer 48K from 1904. It was a step back in technology by about 20 years, and they didn't advertise it very much, which is something that Singer used to do, and I'm not really sure why. I think it was to market to the uh, economy class. So this is a beautiful machine. You can see all the detail on it. It's got uh, an automatic bobbin winder right here. That's absolutely gorgeous. The hand crank folds in so that it fits in the box. And I will get that one running for you too. You just flip the hand crank over, click it into place. And this one is over and away. So I go over and away from myself. And it does a really nice stitch too. Um, the next one is from 1904 to 1914. I really can't get an exact date, but I know it's within those 10 years because it was sold in London by a person of the name W. Pearson, I guess is how you say it. 
and he was working for Frister and Rossmann. So this is a German-made machine, Frister and Rossmann. This is a transverse shuttle. It goes back and forth side to side instead of like the vibrating shuttle that had this half circle motion. This one's a great machine. It's got a beautiful little ceramic handle on it and it has two spool pins and you can wind your bobbin here on the automatic bobber, bobbin winder at the same time that you're stitching. So I'm going to do that for you. You can see the bobbin spinning away there, the purple one, and you can see it filling up down here as I stitch. It's a pretty smooth machine. It's German engineering. It's very tight. I love the way this one feels to use. So that's the Frister and Rossmann. It's a gorgeous machine. So the next one I've got here is a Singer 28. It's from 1918, April 17th exactly. It's a three-quarter machine which means it's not as big as the high arms. It's got a smaller, a smaller inside here. And uh, they made it smaller so that it was portable. <laughs> if you call a 50 pound machine portable. So uh, it's basically the same thing as my treadle machine. Uh, the bobbin winder is up high because now it's not being, it's not being pressed onto the uh, belt, it's being pressed onto the wheel, so it's the same exact bobbin winder, just in a higher spot. So this is the 28. Click the handle into place, and then over and away. Makes a great little stitch. And it's not that loud. Kind of sweet. Gotta keep them oiled. These babies love oil. Give them a bath in oil, they'll be so happy. My next one is actually a featherweight, and you're probably all familiar with what the featherweights look like. It has a pedal, which is the old fashioned type of pedal, and I have it plugged in. This one's from 1937, it's a 221. Uh, the bobbin is inside, uh, underneath the plate here. It is an oscillating bobbin, which is round. And it's not that loud. The sweet little featherweight. I take this to classes with me. I love this machine. So that's my featherweight. The next one here in line is a Singer 15. It's actually a 15NL, which means that it was made as a nostalgia machine. It was, it was produced in Taiwan, and it is an exact replica of the old Singer 15s that were made in 1895. This, however, was made in 1970-something. So it's not from 1895, but it's exactly like one. And it also has an oscillating shuttle that is loaded on the side. You can actually see it from the top here. Yeah. And um, just like the featherweight does, it was... One of the first times they put an oscillating shuttle in a machine back in 1895. And it works in the same way that the old ones do, but it's from 1970. And that's the end of my little playground, and I hope you come and learn how to play on them. They're a lot of fun. We can make some projects, listen to some music, have a great time. Come visit us at the Masquerade. Thanks.